It's been a turbulent month to say the least for police community relations. Police officers were killed last month following a series of fatal officer involved shootings. It feels as if tensions have never been higher, but tonight all across the country, officers and the people they protect came together to strengthen that relationship. It wasn't a meeting or town hall, instead a night of fun complete with cookouts and ice cream. They get to, to, to have, see their district commander in the dunking booth throw a few balls at him, sink him in the water. It's a great time. Take some pictures with the kids, show off some of our equipment, and just spend a great time. And tonight wasn't just about strengthening those relationships on a personal level. In one community, it's also about working together to fight back against something that's been destroying lives, heroin. Look at the police car. Kids get pretty excited when they get to look inside a police car. It's a way for the community to get to know their officers and firefighters. There's no doubt with what's going on around the country nowadays that it is uh, utmost importance that uh, we reach out to our community and let them get to know us one on one. Set up nearby the River Rats for Recovery, an all volunteer group to get addicts the help they need. Our police are doing all that they can. Um, they're, they're working very well um, between them narcotics unit, sheriff's office, they're, they're doing an awesome job. Um, but New Richmond is no different than any other town or any other community. It's just we care enough, we're going to step up, we're going to offer help to people. Sherlene Martin is a volunteer with the River Rats. She says they've taken 50 or more people to treatment over the last two years. The fire chief believes things are getting better. We do occasionally still get the overdoses, um, but I think it, with it just being the epidemic that it is, countrywide, um, you're always going to have some type of activity that way. Last Friday, suspected dealer Alan Johnson was arrested on Washington Street. This community is working together to do what it can in the fight against heroin. Then there is that law enforcement side of it too, that uh, we, we want people to know if they're going to come into this town and they're going to deal and sell heroin, we're going after them. Since Friday, there have been three overdoses into Richmond. One person has died.